this is a key risk aversion trade today. Yes, absolutely. We are seeing pretty broad based weakness across equities, but certainly tech, especially since this is a group that has done pretty well this year, seems like they are taking some of the initial profit taking here, some of the bigger moves. Uh, companies like Apple, Nvidia, chip makers broadly, all of these are stocks that have been taking uh, you know, a bit of a drop today on the geopolitical risk and the kind of increased uncertainty surrounding that. There are individual names that we want to call out because well, there's the mood music and then there's the micro news with Apple falling, for example, significantly. This on the back of, once again, anxieties around the iPhone 16 sales. Who's been cutting back on that particular name? Where are you worried about in the supply chain as well? Yeah, so there's been a lot of concern about Apple, or just a lot of focus on the upcoming iPhone, which is the one that's going to have AI features. They're getting some early reads on demand if you're looking at pre-orders and lead times and things like that. And today we had Barclays come out and kind of you know, it was the latest firm to kind of say maybe demand here isn't as strong as people were kind of hoping or expecting. There was a lot of optimism built around the idea that the AI iPhone was going to lead to this big upgrade super cycle. People still kind of expect a you know, pretty strong uh, growth out of the AI iPhone over the longer term, but maybe this is going to be more of a 2025 story than a 2024 story. City also came out today. They're lowering their uh, iPhone unit forecast for this year, but raising them for next year, kind of saying, once the AI features are available, uh, then we might see you know, more people looking to upgrade them. But for the moment, uh, you know, given how much Apple has been up since April, uh, it seems like this is a name that people are you know, taking some profits in, especially when you have this sort of additional question mark, both the geopolitical risk, but also the iPhone pre-order sales. Ryan, pushing us forward, when we see these sorts of snap moves, Apple is an ongoing narrative, but more broadly in the market today, do you expect people I hate to use the turn of phrase, but by the dip. That's a great question. And, uh, you know, one thing I've heard is that people kind of look at big tech as a more defensive place in the markets. It's not a traditional defensive sector, but given strong cash flows, pretty durable earnings growth, pretty good revenue growth, pretty positive demand tailwinds, especially when you consider, you know, interest in AI and so forth. People have been always looking to big tech as a area to go into in periods of heightened uncertainty. They have some safe harbor sort of characteristics, although there are some concerns about valuations given how much they moved up this year. Uh, it would not surprise me if you did see people, you know, looking around saying there's a lot of uncertainty right now. Mm. Tech looks like a place of relative certainty uh, and they're willing to pay up for that.